much where it's Miracle Day, the Bloodline, the 10th episode of Series 4, is storied by Russell T. Davis and also teleplayed by Russell T. Davis along with Jane Espenson and it's starring John Barrowman, Eve Miles, Mickey Fifa, Alexa Havins, Kai Owen and Bill Pullman. As of time of recording, this is the last on-screen Torchwood episode. Russell T. Davis puts it on indefinite hold. So Gwen does a speech about her dad and plans to kill him. Well, what she meant is end the whole miracle day. So Category 1 can finally rest in peace. So Captain Jack, Gwen and Oswald in China followed the blood trail. So did Rex and Esther in Argentina. Jilly seems to be fascinated by the look of the blessing. At the area where Captain Federico Santos, Rex and Esther are, there are soldiers in a truck. One of them blew the whole truck up. Shit. Making everyone but Captain Santos, Rex and Esther, Category 1. So Rex wanted the CIA think that they're dead. As Charlotte Wills types stuff down on the computer, Noah Vickers and Alan Shapiro looks at the numbers and sees Charlotte's name on there, suspecting that she's a traitor. But the room got exploded just after Alan said, oh fuck. Charlotte obviously got away from the explosion, but we'll see her later. Meanwhile, Gwen goes into the kitchen and cafe with a Chinese waitress, well, trying to tell her to get out, as it's staff only. She tries the door. She gave the waitress money so she can go inside, and it sounded pretty unsettling. It's like ghosts lurking around. So she closed the door, sit around for a bit. She talks to Reese on the phone with Mary holding Anwin. I love the moment where they're ordering Gwen to get out of China alive. So later, Captain Jack and Oswald came. The bit where Reese went to see Geraint and Andy gets told that 15 or 16 year old girl, who's a category one, hasn't got anyone with her and no one knew her name, which is pretty heartbreaking. Jack, Gwen and Oswald has made it to where the Blessing are and met the mother and Jilly, while Esther and Rex met the cousin. Oswald has covered himself with bombs, Jesus. As Jack worked out about his blood going into the Blessing to change back, it amuses the mother and the cousin as it would only make people in China and Argentina mortal nowhere else. However, Rex has got Jack's blood transferred to him. As the group figured it out, sadly the cousin shot Esther, which is really sad. So Gwen shoots Jack and his blood is getting sucked into the blessing. Rex takes his coverings off and the blood from his chest where it was stabbed by those metal poles is getting sucked through as well, which works pretty effectively. So as the room is shaking, Oswald grabbed the mother so she wouldn't leave. Jilly uses the lift. Gwen got through as she noticed Jack is immortal again as he's coming back to life. Jilly kept trying to abandon Jack but luckily Gwen punched her saying how much bloody lipstick can you wear? <laughs> we love Gwen, she's badass. Reese, you lucky bastard. <laughs> so Jack, Gwen and Jilly got out. Oswald made a similar speech as he said to his victim saying run faster and faster. So he blew himself with the mother and the blessing up. Rex pushed the cousin down the blessing, he passed out, so the paramedics arrive. So then we cut to Esther's funeral. Jilly sat on the bench with blue-eyed man convincing Jilly to start again because they almost succeeded. i really love to know what happened after that. So after Charlotte gave Rex her condolences and walked off, Gwen understandably wonders why couldn't the blessing save Esther. I mean it's such a shame they killed her off as I love that character. Reese wonders if the Torchwood will start again. Rex and Reese were hoping Jack and Gwen would say no. Suddenly, Rex finds out that Charlotte is a traitor. As he goes after her, Charlotte shot Rex. The agents shot Charlotte dead and went searching around. Sadly, Rex dies, which is pretty sad. I was like, oh man, this can't have happened. Oh, they had to end it that way. But when he came back to life, he's immortal like Captain Jack with Jack and Gwen saying, what? 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 Which is exactly my response when I first saw that. I really wasn't expecting it. Rex wondered what Jack did to him. Jack and Gwen were literally have no idea what to say. And that's where it ends. I'm glad they didn't kill Rex off like that because that would have been bad. So yeah, interesting way to end it. And that's the end of Torchwood, especially Miracle Day. 
And I think the series ended because Russell T. Davis was caring for his husband, Andrew Smith, who's got brain tumour, but he sadly died in 2018, which is a shame. They did have tortured audio series made by Big Finish Productions to continue the story and also fill the gaps with the previous series. They granted the permission using characters from both Doctor Who, classic and modern series, and the spin-offs. The series looked awesome. So yeah, no more Torchwood for the time being. Next time we see Captain Jack on screen, it'll be Doctor Who Series 12, Fugitive of the Jadoon, in Jordy Whittaker's era. And at time of recording, this is the last time we see Gwen Cooper on screen. Although she gets mentioned in Revolution of the Daleks, where her son punched a Dalek with his boxing glove. So, what did you think of the Bloodline Miracle Day series? Drop your thoughts on the comments down below. I definitely got Doctor Who Series 6 to wrap up as well. Thanks for watching, people, and see you in the next video.